Well, we've got our battery box all installed. Got our back bumper welded on. Getting everything lined up here. Get the roll bar welded in place. We're just making sure everything lines up and for positioning and alignment. Have to connect the two scooters together to keep them squared up. That way everything's nice and even. And we might end up taking these towers down and reconfiguring where to put the motors because I'm seeming like they're going to be sticking up in our way. And also the frames just sitting on top of these scooter brackets but they're going to be mounted down about an inch or two maybe to bring the center of gravity lower. We're getting our frame all lined up and together with our two scooters here. We're going to weld it here. We're going to get squared up with the, the metal here that squares up the two frames. And we've got this piece of wood in the back here to square it up. Yeah. The subframe will weld right along here to our side of our scooter. We're going to have to cut off the kickstand there. I think we might leave that kickstand on there. Look kind of cool. Go-kart with a kickstand. <laughs> now we got to take it apart, do some grinding, and then we're going to tack her together. We're getting our frame all welded up. Got our Harbor Freight 90 amp here. frame tacked on along here. Get the other side tacked as well. Well we've pretty much got our frame all welded together with our scooters here. Got it welded up the sides and everything. It's pretty much a one piece rolling chassis you now front casters set up about where they're going to be. We got to get a bar that goes across here. That'll be our caster mounts and also our footrest, I guess you would call it. We also got to get these towers here whacked off. And that's where our armrests will be and hand controls. <laughs> 